continue my screw this is a fine place to start the tale next time the prince cleansed himself in the waters of the fountain though return to a normal body the same could not be said for his mind I am happy and serve it. change was physical, nothing more! Why should I believe you? Everything you have done contradicts this. I have seen the way you hunger for combat. You take pleasure in creating death. Your constant talk of bloody vengeance. Your cold disregard for your own people. You heard the women in the brothel as clearly as I did, yet you turned away. But I came back. I came back. For you. You are a prince in title only. Go and reclaim your throne. But know this. You do so alone. You certainly have a way with women. Those you don't get killed can't get far enough away from you.
magic. In my youth, I would often lose myself in the back alleys of the upper city. I spent hours running and tumbling, imagining myself all manner of creatures. The rooftops and passageways were secret windows onto other worlds. But now everything has changed. The color bled away, and the sounds of life replaced by a heavy stillness. It has all gone dark and bitter. Palace is close. Let us at last be on our way. The prince was finally forced to accept the fact that Pharaoh was lost to him, and that he alone was responsible for this. Had he not hidden the truth from her, had he shown more compassion, then perhaps things may have. Should I continue from? I will continue my story another way here next time. But no, it was simply too late. In spite of this, or perhaps because of it, the prince found himself profoundly affected by Pharaoh's earlier words and deeds. They had wrought a change in him, slowly supplanting the dark demands of his ruthless alter ego.
So quiet. What's on your mind? Perhaps she is right. Where is the prince I used to know? You are a hardened warrior. Stop being so so sentimental. It's not like you. Were it something I could push away or ignore, I would. You must try. What lies ahead will be the greatest test you have yet faced. Tell me then, what do you believe it is to be a warrior? It is to hunger for combat, to seek solution with the sword. Do you disagree? Had you asked me when we first met, I would have said the same. Now, I am not so sure. Think on it then.
I think a true warrior fights for something other than himself. And what of the man that battles to better his own station, to improve his lot in life? Often it is the only way to achieve greatness. But what you describe is not a man. It is a monster. I see. We will have to continue this discussion later. Ugh. <sighs> 